In this video, I will demonstrate a verifiable claims proof of concept using mask authenticated messaging. In 2017, Zurich Solutions, in collaboration with ICTU, were commissioned by the municipality of Haarlem, the Netherlands, to create a proof of concept in which the citizens of Haarlem logs into a website using an existing identity management system called DigiID to retrieve a publicly verifiable claim. This verifiable claim is in fact a QR code. The QR code contains information such as the hash value of the citizen's personal data, for example name, address and social security number, root and other relevant data. This hash value, called the test hash, is stored on the IOTA tangle, using the previous mentioned root. Third parties like housing corporations can easily prove these verifiable claims. The QR code is scanned to get the root and hash value. The test hash value can now be retrieved from the tangle and compared with the one stored in the QR code. More information about the municipality of Harlem IOTA proof of concept can be found at this location. Based on the municipality of Harlem IOTA proof of concept, I have created the IOTA MEM demo verifiable claims. See this link. This demonstration is created for educational purpose and is not the same as Harlem's proof of concept. Its main purpose is to demonstrate yet another mask authenticated messaging use case. A verifiable claim is a piece of information about an entity such as a name, government ID, home address or university degree. This verifiable claim is tamper proof and whose authorship can be instantly cryptographically verified by the receiving party. Verifiable claims are also known as attestations. I will now explain how the verifiable claims demo works. Bruce requires an attestation from Gotham City, stating that he is a resident of this city and he is eligible for social housing. Gotham City creates a verifiable claim and issues this verifiable claim to Bruce attesting that he is a resident of Gotham City and he meets all the conditions for social housing. The claim is hashed, also known as a test hash, and stored on the tangle using mass authenticated messaging in a restricted mode. Bruce shares this verifiable claim with the social housing cooperative because he wants to be eligible for a social rental home. The social housing cooperative needs to verify that Bruce's claim is signed by Gotham City. The social housing cooperative does this by first hashing Spruce claim. Let's call this the calculated attest hash. Next, the social housing cooperative extracts the attest hash from the tangle. All relevant information, such as root and UUID, are stored in Bruce's claim. If the calculated attest hash is the same as the stored attest hash, then this is the proof that Gotham City has signed Bruce's claim. To make this all work, Gotham City must provide the social housing cooperative with the side key because of the use of the mass authenticated messaging restricted mode. The social housing cooperative does not need to have any connection to or interaction with Gotham City. Each time Bruce requests for a verifiable claim, a universally unique identifier called UUID is generated compliant with RFC 4122 version 4. Such an UUID looks like this, which is a 128-bit value formatted in blocks of hexadecimal digits separated by hyphens. One of the main reasons for using UUIDs is that no centralized authority is required to administer them. The chance of generating the same UUID is quite small, especially if the UUIDs are generated using sufficient entropy. More information, see this link. The UUID is used as key for the HMAC SHA384 key hash algorithm and should be stored in a database as a reference for later use. Warning! In this demo, I am using UUIDs because of its simple implementation, but it doesn't mean you should do it this way. As explained earlier, Gotham City creates the verifiable claim and the social housing cooperative checks if the verifiable claim is signed by Gotham City. Now let's dive deeper into these two processes. I will now explain how the verifiable claim is created. 
Gotham City first creates the claim. From different sources, information are gathered and put into one data package. For instance, the social security number, Bruce's first name, etc. This claim represents a data package, and all data in this data package can be stringed together. The HMAC SHA384 is a keyed hash algorithm. It requires a unique key and a data package as input. As key, we use the UUID. This hash algorithm outputs an attest hash. Gotham City stores this attest hash on the tangle using the root and the side key. Gotham City can now create a verifiable claim by adding the root and the UUID into this verifiable claim. This data package is converted into an QR code, as you can see over here. This verifiable claim is handed over to Bruce. By the way, each time Bruce requests for a verifiable claim, a UUID is generated. Now let's see the process where the social housing cooperative checks the verifiable claim. Bruce gives this verifiable claim to the social housing cooperative. They scan this QR code, which creates this readable verifiable claim data package. They extract the claim, as you can see over here. They extract the UUID from the verifiable claim, and this UUID becomes the key. The data in this data package is stringed together and is used as input together with the key, and the same key hash algorithm is applied. The key hash algorithm outputs the calculated attest hash. From the verifiable claim, the root is extracted. The social housing cooperative already knows the side key, and with the root and the side key, the social housing cooperative extracts the stored attest hash from the tangle. If both values are the same, then the social housing cooperative knows that the verifiable claim is signed by Gotham City. In the demo, I'm using the HMAC SHA384. But what is the HMAC SHA384? HMAC SHA384 is a type of Keith hash algorithm that is constructed from the SHA384 hash function and used as a hash-based message authentication code, also known as HMAC. The output hash is 384 bits in length. An HMAC can be used to determine whether a message sent over an insecure channel has been tampered with, provided that the sender and receiver share a secret key. The sender computes the hash value for the original data and sends both the original data and hash value as a single message. The receiver recalculates the hash value on the received message and checks that the computed HMAC matches the transmitted HMAC. Any change to the data or the hash value will result in a mismatch because knowledge of the secret key is required to change the message and reproduce the correct hash value. Therefore, if the original and computed hash values match, the message is authenticated. Please note, in our demo, the key for the HMAC SHA384, which is the UUID, is not secret because MEM restricted mode is being used. I will now demonstrate a verifiable claims demo using mass authenticated messaging. Go to this link. Let's assume that I am Bruce and I'm logged in into the Gotham City website using their existing identity management system. In this demo, you can select between two options, the data publisher, which is Gotham City, or the data receiver, which is the social housing cooperative. Let's start with data publisher. Select this mainnet endpoint, select this option generate a random seed, select security level medium, and select channel mode restricted and select display message logging, no. Enter an encryption key, for example, my secret. Select the time how long the verifiable claim is valid. That is the current date plus the selected time. Let's set this to 15 minutes. This means the verifiable claim will stay valid for 15 minutes. I've created several accounts. Let's select Bruce, this one, in this demo, I'm logged in as Bruce, and these are my personal data. I have created these accounts, Chinese, Korean, Russian, Hebrew, Arabic, Hindi, and Japanese, to test if this application can handle non-Roman alphabetic characters. As Bruce, I have to check my personal data, and after I have verified my personal data, 
I press this button to request for a digital certificate. My digital certificate is created. This is the JSON message. Here is the root, and this is the UUID. This is the attest hash stored on the Tangle. Now press the button Download Digital Certificate. This is the digital certificate. As you can see, this is the current date time, and this is the validity date. This certificate will only be valid for 15 minutes. This digital certificate is also downloaded as a PDF file, as you can see over here. For demonstration purpose, take out your mobile phone and make a screenshot of the QR code. This is the generated PDF file. As you can see, this is the UUID. Each time a verifiable claim is requested, a UUID is generated, as you can see over here. The UUID is used as file name for the PDF file. Copy this link and open a new tab and paste the link. Now select Data Receiver. Select the same mainnet endpoint. Select Channel Mode Restricted. Select Display Messaging Logging in Console No. And enter Encryption Key My Secret. We need the root, but this field will automatically be filled when the QR code data is processed. If you have a webcam, press this link and press the button Allow. This is my mobile phone with the QR code. Place it in front of the webcam. As you can see, the data stored in the QR code is now scanned. This only works if you have a good quality webcam. If you do not have a webcam, go to this web page, copy this QR code. This QR code is the same as this QR code. Go back to this web page and paste the QR code in this text box. Press the button Process QR Code Data. As you can see, the QR code will be decoded and a readable version of the JSON message is displayed, as you can see over here. It extracts the root and put this root in this text field. It uses the UUID as the key for the HMAC SHA-384 to calculate a test hash. And this is the calculated a test hash. This is all done after you have pressed this button, process QR code data. We now know the root. We previously have entered our encryption key. Now we can retrieve the stored test hash from the Tangle. As you can see, the calculated and extracted test hash do match. Press the OK button. This is our extracted test hash from the Tangle. And this is our calculated test hash. And both values matches. Clear this text box and clear the root. Let's go back to this page. Copy the QR code data. Go back to our page. Paste the QR code. More than 15 minutes has passed. Press the button Process QR Code. As you can see over here, it displays the following message. This is not a valid digital certificate. The validity date is exceeded. An improvement to this proof of concept would be, after the social housing cooperative has scanned and processed the QR code, the verifiable claim should be revoked. This revoked information should be stored on the Tangle. If the social housing cooperative scanned the same QR code again, it will automatically detect that the verifiable claim is invalid. This verifiable claims demo uses multiple libraries. It uses the IOTA library. It uses the mass authentication libraries. It uses the CryptoJS library. It uses the QR code library. And it uses the PDF library. For the QR code scanner, it uses the HTML5 QR code scanner library. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you have questions, leave your comments below. I'll do my best to answer them.